We have traveled all over Kenya to find hard-working farmers. We want to celebrate them while giving them the help they need to improve their farms, get better yields, and increase profits. We will see how farmers from across the region can benefit from our expert advice and learn from each other in so many ways. Join us on these journeys and share in the farmers' experiences as they shape up their shambas. Karibu to the Shamba Shepherd Safari. Hello and welcome to Shamba Shepherd. Today we are in Yasin Gishu County and you are visiting Stephen and Lena Rotich. These are very serious farmers and look they even have a tractor. Oh, it'll be quite interesting driving one of this. No, no, Tony. We are here to shape up their shamba. That's right. So first, we are going to start with their crops. They've got over two acres of maize. And then, we are going to shape up their house. We'll begin with the living area and then move to the kitchen. So, stay tuned. And see how we get on. Driving this tractor. No, no, Tony. Remember, with our shamba shape up. All right, yes. let's go. Let's go. All right. And here are our farmers. Stephen is married to Lena, and they have six children. Their farm covers four acres. With half of that devoted to growing Kenya's favorite crop. Maize. Yes, and it's just been harvested. So let's go and meet our farmers. Yeah, welcome to me. Welcome. How are you? I'm very fine, very fine, very huh? fine. Good. Show us around your farm. We are ready. Okay, <laughs> bye kids. This way? This way. As well as maize, our farmers have cows, chickens. And look, Tony, there's some in the kitchen. Well, we can certainly help tidy up here. Okay, let's see what else we can do. First, the maize. Steven. Yeah. Well Hello. done, well done. How can we help you? One of the challenges that I'm experiencing, in fact, when uh, I grow my seeds, uh, when it germinating, it germinates very slow. Which crop is this? Maize, maize especially. Uh -huh. Yeah. And on to you, Lena. What challenges are you facing? Uh, in the kitchen, I am using firewood. So firewood mostly have a lot of smoke. The firewood is expensive. What do you use for lighting? I normally use the lamp, that one for the glass. The paraffin lamp? Yeah. A lot of money buying the paraffin yes so we only have one day we need to get started mm -hmm. hmm? so well, let's get to work and we'll see you later later thank you all thank right you very okay much. thank you <laughs> Carol, yes, Tony. what a wonderful shamba steven and lena are doing a wonderful job but i think we can take them higher but of course our experts have new ideas to introduce them to. We want to save Lena some money by introducing her to a new cook stove and introducing the whole family to an amazing solar home energy system. First, I'm going to find out about how to use a targeted fertilizer. And we're going to teach them about conservation agriculture. See you later. Later, Tony. <laughs> On the way to my first expert of the day, there was some very good news. The soil test results have arrived. Before growing any crops, it's important to find out how healthy your soil is. Then you know what fertilizers you need to use and if the soil needs liming. Getting the right balance of nutrients in the soil can make the difference between getting a poor harvest and a very good harvest. Oh dear, unfortunately the results are not good. It says here soil is very acidic. Ah! But it also says the soil can be corrected with the application of lime, a correctly balanced NPK fertilizer, and nitrogen when top dressing. That's great! Let's find Stephen and give him the news. Our first expert today is Misiko from CIMIT, the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center. Stephen's harvest was not so good this year. So now that we have the results of the soil test, I'm taking Stephen to meet Misiko. First, I want Misiko to explain to Stephen the principles of conservation agriculture. Then, we can find out what problems Stephen has and how conservation agriculture can help. So conservation agriculture is a set of practices. It's not one technology. These practices are meant to conserve resources in the soil. And number one, 
you have to only minimally disturb the soil or don't till at all. Number two, make sure you do intercropping or rotation, not just any other rotation. We recommend legumes and cereals. The third principle of conservation agriculture, make sure the soil is always covered. And you can do that by leaving crop residue, the remains of your maize, for instance, spread or putting legumes that cover the soil adequately. The fourth is what in CIMIT we like to emphasize, use fertilizer appropriately. Because you've cultivated your farm so many years, you need fertilizer to have enough stock of soil nutrients, okay? Mm -hmm. And the fifth one that I would like to add, which is very important, use appropriate seed variety and seed quality recommended for your area. Okay, so now let's see how conservation agriculture can help Stephen. Tell me a little bit about your farm for me to be able to talk about how you can apply conservation agriculture. The farm that I now possess yeah. and I've even cultivated maize in it for almost 30 years from the days of my grandfather to me now. Did you do any rotation, no? No, no, no. Okay. The same farm, so, so, the yes. same crop. 30 years of maize. 30 years of maize. Yeah. If you look back, how would you describe yield over the years that you've been getting from this farm? My grandfather used to uh, harvest more than even 50 sacks per acre. Mm -hmm. But as time goes, it starts reducing. To now, yeah. we get less than 20 bags per acre. I see. Yeah. I have a couple of points that you need to follow. So before you start the season, make sure you plant the appropriate seed. Ensure that you plant maize that is recommended for this area. Number two, be very, very careful about the onset of rain. So just before the rain starts to fall, prepare your land by applying herbicide. The reason why you apply herbicide before planting is to kill all the weeds so that when maize germinates, there's no competition. Number three, after germination, of course, Usually there is not a lot of weed population. So that way you only do minimum weeding after germination, okay? And then when you are planting, make sure you do intercrop. Your maize, appropriate maize again, I'll repeat, with appropriate legume of your choice. The reason why we are advising you to do legume, it's a cover crop. It helps to cover the soil. But also legumes have the capacity to improve the soil nutrients, particularly nitrogen. If your farm is big enough and you have adequate resources to cultivate enough acreage, you can do crop rotation. If your area is so small, like only one acre, and you really love maize, you do intercropping. At harvest, we recommend that you do not take all the remains away. In scientific terms, we call that crop residue, like what we see here. You leave some in the farm to ensure there is cover, because we don't want to expose the soil either to wind or to soil erosion, okay? And there are benefits to all these things I've talked about. Uh, after using this conservation agriculture, how long will it take me to, to see this uh, great harvest that you've said? Now, conservation agriculture does not result in yield increase, which is sudden. Remember, we've exploited the soil for so long yeah. and we have to build it slowly the stocks in the soil, the nutrients, the organic resources, all this slowly, so it takes time. The good news is that once you've built them, you don't again start losing them rapidly if you maintain good practices. So remember the main basic principles of conservation agriculture and you can expect good, good harvest with time. Just be patient. When practicing conservation agriculture, one of the steps Stephen can take to quickly rebalance the soil is by using a fertilizer. So, I've invited Naomi from Mavuno to give Stephen some advice. Ah, good. And here's Tony with Stephen now. So, let's see what Naomi has to say. Ah, Stephen. Yes. Naomi is our expert for today. Okay, I've seen your maize, uh, the size of your cup of the maize is very small, as well as the, the size of the stock. What are you experiencing in your farm? during the production of your maize. When I grow my crops, I find that when it is at that knee height, it changes the color, okay. turn yellowish, growing very slowly, turning thin. Mm -hmm. At long last uh, in production, it is very low. 
What fertilizer have you been using before? I have been using uh, manure okay. from my animals. So um, what would you advise Naomi? It's good for you to use the Mavuno fertilizer. It will increase the size of your, your cup and it will increase the size of your stock. Would you advise me to use the Mavuno fertilizers alongside with the manure that I've been using? Yes, you can combine both the manure and Mavuno fertilizer. Uh -huh. As long as your manure is uh, well decomposed. Okay, if you can see this one, the size of this cup, can you check it, uh, Mr. Yes. Stevie? And then you compare with the, the difference between this one and the harvest from your farm. Yeah, I can see these are big. Okay. If you can see the size, the harvest from your farm, mm -hmm. you can see the size. Yeah, very different. Have you seen the difference? I've seen, I've seen. So this one has a very small cup and this one is a very large cup, which means when you harvest your maize, you'll get the high, higher hills than this one. Yeah. That's why you have been experiencing low yields in your farm. These two maize cobs clearly show the benefit of using a fertilizer like Mavuno. But will any kind of Mavuno fertilizer do? Mavuno fertilizer, we have different fertilizers according to the crop or it's crop specific fertilizer. Uh -huh. Now that you've said we have to be crop specific, so it is wrong to use Mavuno for maize and maybe uh, use it on bananas? Yes, it is very wrong. Uh -huh. We have Mavuno vegetables which is for vegetables we have mavuno tea which is for tea which have been every fertilizer is splendid according to the to the crop yes yes for example maize we we have uh, the npk is 10 26 10 n mean nitrogen p is phosphorus k is potassium so in mavuno fertilizer it has the nitrogen is 10 the phosphorus is 26 and potassium is 10 Apart from the, the, the normal NPK, it has the secondary nutrients and it has the micronutrients. Let's go step by step. So tell us about these micronutrients, then you tell us about the secondary nutrients. The secondary nutrients, it is the calcium, the magnesium and the sulfur. It acts as a, as a limine to reduce the acidity of the soil, as well as the, the, the micronutrients, that is the zinc, the boron, the molybdenum and the copper, which is essential for the absorption of the nutrients by the plant. Okay. So if you use mafuno fertilizer, it increases the absorption of the other nutrients because it has the 11 elements. In one bag? Yes. Uh -huh. Maize is a heavy feeder. And because it is a heavy feeder, it takes a lot of nutrients in the soil. And if it takes the other, all the nutrients in the soil, when you harvest your plant, it's good you use Mavuno fertilizer to, to return the nutrients back to the soil. Aha. After recommending me to use Mavuno fertilizers, where then will I get? You'll get in the nearby agrofets. Mm. And is it affordable? Yes, it's affordable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, Tony. Wow. So, we've learned about the benefits of using a targeted fertilizer specific to the crop. And about conservation agriculture. But on this farm, Stephen is a real expert and he's been farming for a very long time. That's right. And so we asked him to share with us his top tip in farming. I, being a young farmer like any other farmer, request all the farmers to practice dairy keeping animals. These cows will give me milk for daily consumption, and even I can sell to pay school fees or my children. Again, you will have a calf that when it has already grown up, you will sell it and earn a lot of money. From these cows, we also get manure that we can use in our farms. I request and recommend that all farmers keep dairy cows. Ah, oh, cows are the backbone of every shamba. Coming up after the break, how to save money on fuel for the Jiko. And save even more money by using free energy from the sun. Welcome back to Shamba Shepherd. We are in Eldoret. And we are visiting Stephen and Lena Rotich. Do you know, Tony, we've done so much work in the field already. I think it's time we switched to the comfort of the home. You know what that means, Carol? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my feet up on the sofa. No way! 
you're going to have the kitchen and I am going to have the living room. I know what you want. I know what you want, Carol. You want to sit on that sofa and watch reruns of Makutano Junction, don't you? But of course. Yeah, see, I know you. I've known you. I've known you. Well, we'll see you later. Later. Lena has been complaining about using her old smoky jiko. So, we have brought Hesbon, an expert from EcoZoom, to give us some advice. And I've got an idea. If Caro is going to relax on the sofa, maybe I can just get a nice cup of tea. Lena! I am cooking tea. Anytime is a tea time. Okay, okay. good, good. <laughs> How old is this jiko you're using? Almost uh, one year. One year? Mm. It looks around to be very conservative five years five years <laughs> it looks bit i would have said 10. <laughs> yeah all right now hesbon first of all why the smoke i thought i thought jikos are not supposed to smoke as much what are the dangers of this smoke studies have been done and fourteen thousand people are dying every year in hmm. kenya alone because of inhaling all this smoke hmm. and Apart from the smoke, there is that smoke that you can't see. Uh -huh. We call it carbon monoxide. Okay. That we call it a silent killer. You are breathing it in, but you can't feel it okay. until it puts you down. You're dead. Those 14,000 people shouldn't die. Yeah? Uh -huh. There are ways that they can prevent this smoke from uh, coming from the jiko. So, Lena, how much charcoal do you use to cook? Let's say almost one sack in a month. Wow. Mm. And how much is that? Um, around 1,000, the bath. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. That's, that's a lot. quite a lot. You know, this jiko is just metal, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. So a lot of heat is getting lost on the sides. Yes. So very little heat is going on to the sphoria. Mm -hmm. And you can touch on the side and feel it's very hot. Yes. That's heat mm -hmm. uh, uh, being wasted. So you're using a lot of charcoal for zero work. Does it get very hot when you hold it? Very hot. A kid passing by here, touching it, will get burnt yes. and you'll have to go to hospital. Yes. Now, Esbon, looking around the kitchen, do you think it's tidy enough? Uh, we want to build your shelves where you can put your dishes, you can put your uh, sufuria uh, in one place. Okay. It will look very tidy, I'm sure. Oh, Lena, we need to go. Caro is waiting for you yeah. because we have another surprise. You, sir, are in charge of the kitchen. I will be cooking the Take tea. Take care of the tea. Definitely. All right. So, while Shamba Shepap team gets to work renovating the kitchen, I decided to take Lena back to the house. And I bet Caro is on that sofa. Caro has invited Nixon, an expert from D-Light, to come and introduce our farmers to the D30, a fantastic solar-powered home energy system. Ah, Lena, you told us you're having problems about lighting. Yes. Uh, we are using the kerosene lamp mm -hmm. and the kuruboi. So sometimes no money for buying kerosene, a lot of uh, smoke, so it's not good in health. Uh, moving out at night, I don't have the torch. When I come here, mm. we normally share with the young kids the, the kerosene lamp. Yes. Mm. How much does kerosene cost? Up to 60 shillings per liter. Then you do the maths for a whole month. Yeah, yeah, the That's whole month. That's a lot of money. Uh, the product that we are having, the D-Light Home System, is really going to take care of their needs. What is the D-Light Home System? The D-Light Home System, this is a product from D-Light, which comes with three bulbs. Each bulb has got its own switch. This product, the home system comes with a solar panel. Mm -hmm. This one, we can fix it all over the roof. So, Stephen, mm. you've already started saving money right there. Indeed. If the panel is placed on the roof, yeah. it's getting sunlight for free. Uh -huh. So, Nixon, how does it work? The D-Light Home System comes with a base unit, which is used to, to hold all the accessories. We'll have the solar being connected there. Each bulb has got its own port. This one will connect here. Uh -huh. You see? Yeah. Apart from that, we also have other, other accessories. Okay. So, Stephen, we have a torch for you. Yeah. A very powerful torch. Mm -hmm. And it, it lights up to a 200 meters. You can be able to go out at night and, and look uh -huh. after your cattle at night. Very nice. Very wonderful. <laughs> Good. He's already excited. Yes. <laughs> I have a question to yes, you. Yes, yes. I can see this charger has a lot of other charging uh, system. Apart from charging your torch, yeah. this is, will also assist in charging your phones. Okay. Maybe you can have I your have phone. I have a phone here. Simply put that one there. Uh -huh. 
I yeah. can see the charging. This is charging. Good. Mm -hmm. Lena is so happy. Shall be home too now. So Nixon, is that all? No, we also have a, a, a radio for Stephen, the family. Mm -hmm. And we have here this solar chargeable radio. Uh, uh, my favorite station is Cas FM. That's Cas. Yeah, that's the Cas FM. What are they saying? Speaking about the, the race running. Yeah. So, can we see these things how it works? Yes, we are going to do that immediately. Mm -hmm. And after setting up, mm -hmm. I'm also having another surprise for Stephen and Lena. Mm -hmm. Another surprise? Yes. Yeah. Right. Let's get to work installing the D30 solar system. A panel on the roof, switches on the wall, the charging point for the phone, the torch and the radio. Hmm, that's it. All done. They'll never pay for mobile charging or for the lighting ever again. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm very happy. And it yeah, it can show your Nothing face. Nothing else. Uh, <laughs> so now your kitchen is set, your living room and bedroom. Mm. Yeah. Steven, now you can have your private moments with your newspaper. Yeah. In fact, I'm planning to have another table for me, <laughs> for myself in the corner. <laughs> and here goes the surprise. Oh, a TV. I can see wow, it. Wow, Caro, that looks great. Daylight now have a new home solar system called the X850. This includes four solar lights, a tube light, the radio, torch, and a charging station. And as an optional extra purchase, this fabulous solar power TV. What about if there is any problem in this? All our products with the Delight Home system, they come with three-year replacement warranty. The cost of this thing, maybe it will cost me a lot of money. Yes. What will I do? The first is that you can buy it mm -hmm. in cash, Second way of getting the product, you can buy it by installments. With a solar home system, you're guaranteed absolute entertainment, and above all, it is pocket friendly. You get to save money. Ah, uh, Lena, mm -hmm. I think we've taken too much of your time, and I know Tony is waiting for you with the other projects out there. So you can still continue watching. <laughs> yes. Let me go. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the kitchen, our expert builder Caris has been working hard getting the kitchen renovated. New shelves have been installed in the kitchen. This is going to help keep that away from the cooking equipment. Everyone lends a hand. I tidied up the cups. Ready for tea, I hope. And here she is. Let's see what Lena thinks. Oh, welcome back, Lena. Did you see any difference? Great improvement. Mm -hmm. oh, it's very nice. And look at your Jiko. Very nice. And guess what? Esbon here made a cup of tea. I cooked it with this Jiko. Oh, it tastes good. Yeah. Cheers, man. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so, Esbon, what have we done to our kitchen? We have done a lot of good things to our kitchen. We have installed a very nice shelf. It will be easy for you to reach for the dishes. And there's also an open window that allows all these fumes to go out and bring in fresh air. Something else I can add. Our Jiko, we said it uses very little charcoal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it actually reduces your charcoal use by 70%. That will save you the money that you use to buy charcoal. That will reduce the smoke and the fumes that make mm -hmm. you get a headache. Mm -hmm. And that will make your kids and your family get healthier. One small magic trick, I'll hold your cup, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. for you. Now, I want you to lift that jiko up. Just, Just try lift it. Just try. <laughs> oh, there you go. See it? Did you get burnt? No. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I told you I'm a magician. <laughs> yes. Let's talk about this jiko. As you have seen, you have held it mm -hmm. and it hasn't burnt you. Yeah. Why? We have put some rubber, we call it silicon, okay. on the handles. Okay. Right now we have uh, introduced something called insulation. Mm -hmm. It's something that holds heat. Mm -hmm. It's within the jiko. Mm -hmm. So there's no heat getting lost on the surrounding. So this jiko saves more than halves of Lena's fuel costs. It has less smokes, so improves on your health. Easy and safe to use. But is it going to last? This jiko is very durable. On the top is the cast iron, very strong material. All those factors combined mm -hmm. gives this jiko a five-year lifespan. Oh. If you use it well, the jiko has a warranty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a one-year warranty in case any part 
malfunctions or get spoiled. Okay. Good. So where can she get them? We sell it through distributors and agents ah. and also through the equity bank. Thank you so much, Hesbon. Let's enjoy our tea. Let's enjoy our tea. Stevie! Yeah. Now we've come to the end of our visit here. Mm -hmm. Let me start with you, Stephen. Yeah. How did you find Shamba Shape Up? I've learned a lot in my farm. Wow. Uh, and I believe that come this year, next year, mm -hmm. my harvest will be big. You'll be supplying all the millers with maize. Plus my neighbors. Wow. Yes, plus the neighbors. Mm -hmm. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. I think now in my side, yes. I'm very happy. In fact, I am now okay. You okay. No problems, no wasting money. Well, Caro, it seems our work here is... It's done. And we'll see you in the... Wait, 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 Caro. There's a tractor. There's a tractor. Hey, hey, hey. Don't, don't wait for me. You are not leaving me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.